my name is Gabrielle Fortuna, and in this video, I'm gonna share some things that I've found helpful to create better guitar chords and show you some devices I made as well that aim to solve some of the challenges that come from this. Now, keep in mind, I'm gonna focus on the MIDI portion of creating these sounds. So if you're interested in guitar instruments, audio processing, and things like that, just hit that subscribe button because I have some more videos coming up on that. If you've ever worked with MIDI, you've probably made some chords that look like this. And while this works fine for synthesizers and keys, it's just not as convincing when played with a guitar instrument. You see, guitar chords are notoriously difficult to program via MIDI just because of the nature of playing a guitar. So let's take a look at some chords and how they're played on a guitar for a moment. Since guitars are typically tuned in fourths, mostly anyway, this makes certain chord voicings much easier to play than others. This doesn't mean that alternate chord voicings can't be played on a guitar, it just makes them less typical. This brings me to the first device I'd like to show you. This device allows me to create guitar chords with those authentic guitar voicings that you just heard, all while playing a single note. The note I play sets the root, and then the chord quality will depend on the key that's set. So in C major, playing an E and an A will create some minor chords. But in E major, the same notes will create major chords. I designed the device like this because I wanted to simplify the process of experimenting with different chords in the same key to find the right feel for my songs. But what about strumming the strings? Well, let's go back to our guitar again for a moment. When you strum a guitar, each string is played one at a time, and they'll continue resonating until you stop them. Typically, you'll see this trick being used in the MIDI editor to try to get that same effect. And while this works, I just personally find it a bit tedious and just not immediate enough. So I made a device that strums any chord and gives you control over the chord strumming in real time. The real magic happens when you pair up the guitar chords device with the chord strummer and just play some notes. I even added chord controls to play sevenths, sus2, sus4, and even power chords for rock and metal. And that's just the beginning of the devices that I've been working on. In fact, I put together an entire collection of MIDI tools, including the ones in this video, that I'm calling the Essential MIDI Effects Pack. I'm giving away a free version of the pack right now with some guitar and keyboard chord devices, along with other creative tools that should be pretty helpful. I'll put a link up here in the corner and one in the description of the video as well, so you can go check it out. Now for this video, I'm gonna wrap it up, but I'll leave you with a taste of what some of these other devices can do. And in the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the loop.